Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Paul Morphy and William Poutier. This is a game from Blindfold Simul that Paul Morphy played in Paris, France in 1858. Paul Morphy played on eight boards. He had white pieces and in this game he started with e4. William Poutier played e5. Knight to f3, attacking the pawn, but now knight to f6, the Russian defense. White to move. Bishop to c4 was played. Knight takes pawn on e5. And knight to c3 are the two most played moves. Bishop to c4, allowing black to win the pawn on e4. Knight takes on e4. White to move. Paul Morphy played the knight to c3. Knight to f6. If knight takes on c3, then white recaptures with a d pawn, and black is advised to play f6, not d6. If d6, then knight to g5, and black is in a big trouble. Back to our game. Knight to f6 was played. Knight takes on e5, d5, bishop to b3, bishop to e7, d4. C6 and Morphy castled king side. Knight from b to d7, f4. So if now knight takes on e5, f takes on e5, opening the file for the rook. Knight to b6, queen to f3, black to move, h5 was played. f5, queen to c7, bishop to f4, bishop to d6, rook from a to e1, lining the rook with the black king, white army is fully mobilized. King to f8 was played, not daring to castle king's side. Queen to g3, h4. What happens if bishop takes on f5? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. This is what Paul Morphy had in mind. Check. And after bishop takes on g6, bishop takes on d6 check, winning a black queen. So, to avoid this disaster, Potier played h4, attacking white queen. What is the best square for the queen? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? Paul Morphy didn't move the queen. He played knight to g6 check. What a move. King to g8. What else? If pawn takes knight, then what happens then? Then black loses the queen. So we have king to g8. Bishop takes on d6. H takes on g3. Bishop takes queen. F takes on g6. F takes on g6. Pawn takes pawn on h2. Check. King to h1. Bishop to g4, rook to e7, invasion on the 7th rank, knight from b to d7, bishop to e5, king to f8, rook to f7 check, king to g8. Why to move? How to make the progress? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find the killer move? Paul Morphy played this brilliant knight sacrifice. Knight takes on d5. What a move. C takes on d5. Bishop takes on d5, lining the bishop with the black king. Knight to b6, attacking the bishop. White to move. White played a move and black resigned. Please pause and find this amazing move. Did you pause? What did you find? Paul Morphy played Bishop to b3. The silent killer move. Poutier resigned. In a hopeless position. One line goes like this. Everything is losing. So just a random move. Rook to h6. Then rook from 7 takes on f6. Discovered a check from the bishop. After king to h8, check, rook takes rook, rook takes rook, check, mate. 
What a Brilliant Attack by Paul Morphy. Uh, can you imagine? This was a blindfold simul game. The rumor says that fans of William Potier complained that Morphy was peeking under the blindfold. Hmm? But fans of Paul Morphy said that Morphy was in another room and could not possibly see under the blindfold through the brick wall. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.